it's right in YouTube. So here in Southwest Florida, this is an extremely rare find. Um, and I've never had this before. It's called toddy palm brassis or palmyra palm. Um, I got it from a friend of mine on Pine Island. And to be honest with you, I'm really afraid to open this up because I don't want to ruin the seed. Um, so we're going to start with the smallest one. And from what I understand, you can eat the ripe mesocarp. So I just wanted to kind of open it up. The reason I'm scared to do this, is, like I said, it's a rare palm, at least in this country. And it takes a very long time to fruit. This, this came off of a palm tree that was about 20 years old. There were 10 trees planted. And this is the first one with female flowers and fruit. So he had other ones that were that made male flowers. And those are used to uh, collect the, the sap for uh, like as a beverage or you can ferment it. But the females has a totally different, supposed to smell and taste like, uh, like a fermented pumpkin pie. And I'm not sure, definitely, s hmm, it smells so good. <laughs> it doesn't smell like pumpkins to me, it smells like something else. like there's a little bit of astringency but it's like melon and kind of lychee and papaya I would say it's probably not fully ripe so I'm, we'll, we'll add another one ripen all the way but well, since we have it open let's just kind of see see what the seeds like see how many we how many seeds are in here I was thinking about how to save these and I think the smell is way too attractive. I think it would probably attract animals that would eat, eat it or run off with it. So instead I'm gonna to try to open it and save the seeds separately from the husk. Cause the husk, I mean, the smell is intoxicating. I had it in my car and <laughs> you, when you get in the car, you know about it. Kind of like if you have a ripe jackfruit in the car, if you ever had that. Let's see if we can not ruin it but you want to taste this I know I'm kind of mangling this with no, it's all right. let the cameraman have a have a flavor of it you gotta smell it though give that a whiff oh, <laughs> it's kind of like fermented cantaloupe yeah it's melony right yeah honeydew or cantaloupe yeah do you kind of like just juice it in your mouth like you're chew chewing on sugar cane it's kind of the same Pretty good. The video we were watching YouTube videos about this, and apparently it'll it'll give you the run, so you don't want to eat, eat too much of it. Ugh. All right, so it took a took a little bit of time, but we were able to shave off a lot of the fiber. It was really like a like a the most ultra fibery mango you've ever seen. Um, but I wanted to have a relatively clean seed, so I've just been kind of washing it in water and scrubbing the stuff off, but. Um, the main idea is that I wanted a, a seed that I can put in my nursery that doesn't going to attract rats. So hopefully this will, I can clean this out and it won't have an, an, an enticing aroma to bring the rats in to destroy these seeds because they're hard to get. Um, anyway, that's the, that's it. I would love to see what's inside of here and taste it and share it with you guys, but I don't have enough of these. So <laughs> see you guys next time. That's what's ripening.